Imagine a disease that doesn't spread from person to person. Intriguing, isn't it? Welcome to the world of non-transitive diseases, a realm of health conditions that, while they may not pass from one person to another, still pack a significant punch in terms of their global impact. These diseases are a bit of a paradox. They're not contagious, yet they're widespread. They're not infectious, but they're pervasive. So what exactly are non-transitive diseases? Let's delve into the details. Non-transitive diseases are health conditions that don't transmit directly from one individual to another. It's not about sneezes, coughs, or handshakes, it's about your genes, your lifestyle, and sometimes, just plain old bad luck. Take cancer for example. It's a classic case of a non-transitive disease. Despite what some myths might have you believe, you can't catch cancer from someone else like you would a cold or flu. It's a complex disease that arises from a multitude of factors, including genetic mutations and environmental exposures. Then there are genetic disorders. These diseases are present from birth caused by abnormalities in an individual's genetic material. They're not something you can catch from someone else but they can be passed down from parents to their offspring. And let's not forget lifestyle diseases. Conditions like type 2 diabetes and heart disease are often the result of a combination of genetic factors and lifestyle choices. They're not contagious in the traditional sense, but unhealthy habits like poor diet and lack of exercise can be socially contagious, spreading through families or social groups. So, while you can't catch a non-transitive disease from someone else, these diseases are far from rare. In fact, they're some of the most common health conditions on the planet. Non-transitive diseases may not spread between individuals, but their impact on global health is significant. Explore with us as we delve deeper into this fascinating topic in the upcoming scenes, we promise you, it's a journey worth taking. What makes non-transitive diseases different from their transitive counterparts? Let's delve deeper. Non-transitive diseases are a unique category of illnesses that do not spread from person to person. Unlike transitive diseases which are often the result of direct or indirect contact with an infected individual, non-transitive diseases are the product of a different set of factors. A key player in the development of non-transitive diseases is genetics. Our genes, those tiny bits of DNA that we inherit from our parents, can predispose us to certain conditions. For example, if your mother or father has type 2 diabetes, your odds of developing the disease are significantly higher than someone without that family history. But it's not all about genes. Our environment also plays a crucial role. We're not just talking about the physical space you inhabit, but also your social, economic, and cultural environments. For instance, if you live in a city with high levels of air pollution, you might be at a greater risk of developing respiratory illnesses. Similarly, if you're in a stressful job or live in a neighborhood with limited access to healthy food, these factors can contribute to the onset of non-transitive diseases. Lastly, lifestyle choices significantly influence the development of these conditions. The food we eat, the amount of physical activity we get, our sleep habits, stress management, and even our social relationships can impact our health. For example, a diet high in processed foods and low in fruits and vegetables can lead to conditions like heart disease and diabetes. Similarly, lack of physical activity and high stress levels can contribute to a range of non-transitive diseases. So, as you can see, non-transitive diseases are a complex interplay of genetics, environment, and lifestyle. They may not spread like transitive diseases, but their impact on our health can be just as profound. Being non-transitive doesn't mean these diseases are any less serious or widespread. It's a reminder that our health is not just about avoiding germs, but also about making conscious choices for our well-being. Knowing the symptoms is half the battle won. In non-transitive diseases these signs are our guide. This isn't a scare tactic folks, it's a call to arms, a reminder to listen to our bodies and heed their warnings. Let's talk about some of the common symptoms associated with non-transitive diseases. These are the silent alarms your body sets off, often ignored as mere inconveniences or the result of a busy day. But they could be something more. Unexplained weight loss, for example. We're not talking about the kind that comes from a new diet or exercise regimen. This is weight loss that occurs without any significant changes in your lifestyle. If you're shedding pounds without trying, it's time to take note. Then there's chronic fatigue. Not the kind of tired you feel after a long day at work or a sleepless night. This is a persistent, unshakable exhaustion that doesn't get better with rest. It's a fatigue that hinders your daily routine, that makes getting out of bed feel like a Herculean task. And let's not forget about those changes in the body that cannot be explained. A new mole here, a sudden rash there, 
a persistent cough that just won't quit. These are the signs your body is sending up the flare, begging for attention. The key to managing these diseases lies in regular checkups and early detection. It's like a game of hide-and-seek where the earlier you find the disease, the better your chances of winning. Regular screenings can catch these diseases in their nascent stages, making them easier to treat and manage. It's important to remember that our bodies are complex, intricate machines. They communicate with us in subtle ways, whispering their secrets through symptoms. We just need to pay attention to listen and to act. While these symptoms may seem common, they could be indicators of something more serious. Don't ignore them. It's your body. It's your health. It's your life. Take charge. While there's no one-size-fits-all treatment for non-transitive diseases, there are ways to manage them effectively. The path to managing these diseases is not always straightforward, but it's paved with options that can be tailored to meet your individual needs. Let's dive into some of these options, shall we? Firstly, lifestyle modifications can play a significant role in managing non-transitive diseases. This may involve dietary changes, physical activity, stress management techniques, and sometimes even a complete lifestyle overhaul. For instance, someone with an autoimmune disease might find relief in adopting an anti-inflammatory diet, while someone with a metabolic disorder could benefit from regular exercise. The key here is to find what works best for your body and your lifestyle. Medication is another crucial aspect of treatment. Depending on the nature of the non-transitive disease, different classes of drugs may be employed. For example, anti-inflammatory drugs might be used to manage autoimmune diseases, while medications to control blood sugar levels could be useful for metabolic disorders. It's important to remember that medications should always be taken under the supervision of a healthcare professional. In some cases, surgery might be an option. This is usually the last resort, when other treatment methods have proven ineffective. It's also important to remember that surgery is not a cure-all and may come with its own set of risks and complications. But perhaps the most important piece of the puzzle is the personalized treatment plan. You see, each individual's health profile is unique. What works for one person might not work for another. That's why it's crucial to work closely with your healthcare team to develop a plan that's tailored to your specific needs and circumstances. This plan will take into account a host of factors including your age, overall health, lifestyle, and even your genetic makeup. Remember, the goal is not just to treat but to manage and maintain quality of life. It's about making informed decisions that help you lead a healthier, happier life. So, take charge of your health, engage with your healthcare team, and explore the treatment options that work best for you. Because when it comes to managing non-transitive diseases you have more power than you might think. When it comes to non-transitive diseases, prevention truly is the best medicine. Prevention, dear friends, is the key to maintaining our health and keeping non-transitive diseases at bay. It's about making conscious decisions that contribute to our overall well-being. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Regular exercise is one such preventive measure. It's not just about building muscles or running marathons. Exercise is about keeping our body in motion, improving our heart health, and boosting our immune system. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a quick swim, or a yoga session, find what works for you and stick to it. Next is a balanced diet. We've all heard the saying, you are what you eat. Our bodies are complex machines, and the food we consume is the fuel that keeps these machines running smoothly. Incorporate a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains into your meals. Limit your intake of processed foods and sugary drinks. Remember, your diet is a powerful tool in preventing non-transitive diseases. Now, let's talk about harmful habits. Smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and other such habits can wreak havoc on our health. They can lead to a host of non-transitive diseases, so it's crucial to avoid these habits or seek help to quit if you're already engaged in them. Finally, regular health checkups are a vital part of prevention. They allow for early detection of potential health issues, giving you a head start in dealing with them. Regular screenings, blood tests, and other diagnostic procedures can pick up early signs of non-transitive diseases. So, don't wait for symptoms to show up. Be proactive about your health. While we can't change our genes, we can certainly make choices that promote our health. Take control of your health today.